talk a little bit about the power, okay? Saying that this has more power, but this is rated quicker. Then I'm going to argue that, you know, this one is on a better technology tire. It's got a Michelin Cup 2s. This is sitting stock on Dunlops. So I feel like if I put Michelin Cup 2s... Well, there goes our Dunlop sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. It's Gil and Yoel with Fusion. And today we got a couple of cool cars from you guys. On my side, I got the 2009 SL65. One year production. 175 cars for the US. And on my side, we've got the vaunted SLS AMG Black Series. 132 cars made for the US, also one year production. But my car makes 661 horsepower. Well, but my car makes 622 horsepower. I have 738 pounds of torque. Well, you might have a little bit more torque than me since I've only got 468, but, but I think mine's faster. So on paper, it is a little faster. I, I think it's the technology of the tires, and I'm a torque guy. I like torque. But on the numbers showing is that, that Gil's car is a little quicker than mine, but I'm kind of old school. We want to know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys had a choice between the 2014 SLS Black mm -hmm. Series or the 2009 SL65 Black Series, which one you would take? And just to say something, this is the first black series ever produced. It is, and you know, and the truth is, anytime you walk around the back of a car and it says AMG, you know you've got something serious. And then when it says black series, now you got something on the next Special. level. So I don't really know that you can go wrong with either, but uh, these are some serious, serious cars. Today we're gonna focus on the 2014 SLS black series. We're not gonna drive the SL65. We're gonna keep it for another video, but we will do it. But we do wanna know in this comments on this, on this video, which one you guys like better, which one if you had to choose money aside, which one you would take. Uh, we've been asking guys around the shop. I think Gil's car is winning a little more. But I'm kind of old school and I love torque. I drive diesel trucks. When I hear 738 pounds of torque, I get excited. I like to rip off the tires, but I know that this car does really well. Gil, tell us a little more about this one. This SL6, SL, uh, SLS AMG Black Series, um, you know, again, 132 cars made. What jumps at you right away is, of course, the gold wing doors. And, you know, that's something that, you know, historically you only see in the 300 uh, SL gold wings of, of the 50s and early 60s. And, and this car came out uh, paying homage to that. And, and it's, it's unmistakable, undeniable. Um, unlike the original release of the SLS, this thing comes in uh, significantly lighter, right? Um, I believe that this one sheds right around 150 pounds versus the regular SLS. One thing I know about this car, they went to a titanium exhaust and just the exhaust system reduced 29 pounds off the car. So mm. imagine just changing mm. the material on the exhaust. And I love the way titanium exhaust sounds. So hopefully we can pick that up in the video. Yeah. And I think, you know, this is, uh, you know, may, many would consider this AMG's last, you know, hurrah when it comes to a naturally aspirated uh, motor. bit of a blur but I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw it go right up to that red 622 which which we know is the peak output we got it that high I mean it moves quick and again you see AMG on a car you, you know you got something special and of course there's a lot of other things here in terms of carbon carbon fiber and other other things where they saved uh, weight or distributed the weight correctly yeah I mean the weight distribution on this car is insane I don't even know how they did it but they got 54.1% of the weight sitting on top of the rear tires. And then I think that's the huge benefits why this thing shoots to zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds is that it can hook up. Yeah, and you know, and they did a couple of other cool technical things. You know, the, the transmission on this car actually sits 10 millimeters, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but 10 millimeters lower than the original version of the SLS, and it actually has gas-powered shocks mounted to it uh, to have it move around and, and, and keep, it, keep it moving with the body. Uh, again, incredible. Uh, who, I haven't seen who, that before. Who thinks, who thinks of stuff like that? You know, the engineers at, at AMG did an incredible job on this car. Yeah.
So yeah, a, a great piece. Absolutely. One thing that we really enjoyed on, on the Black Series is that just on the SLS, we've sold three of them in the last three months. And we had some great Black Series and we said, God, we gotta videotape this. Right. This is just, just a great car. Well, you know, when you, when, when you have 132 cars in the US and, and three have moved through here, in the last three months, you know, we start asking ourselves, are we ever going to see another one? I mean, how much more time is going to pass before we see another one of these come through? They, in the last three to six months, have skyrocketed to the top of all collectors' list, and they're just getting snatched up and, and put away. So it, it's a real honor to have one here. Well, I, um, hope, to shoot. I hope we get more. And uh, just to let you know, rear tires on this car stock 325 rear, t rear tires. So they put some meat on them. Sure. Uh, let's let's walk around your the back. favorite tire. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Michelin guy. I, I, I don't mind the Michelin Cup 2s. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I think that's a big reason. I'm going to tell you also, it's a little quicker than my 2009. Because the 2009 came with the Dunlop tires. It's a great tire, not knocking Dunlop. Mm -hmm. But I think if we go to the new technology of Michelin sure. and you change the tires on that car, I bet with you your 0 to 60 will improve. Here's a couple of features I wanted to show on the car. The MG Black Series comes standard with ceramic brakes six piston calipers and for tires they throw the michelins on them but the front tires are 275 35 zr19 it's a pretty white tire for a front of a car uh the rear they put a 325 30 zr20 what else do we have on that car a lot of carbon additions for downforce you know again you know back to these doors <laughs> you know so cool and and you know i read up that that you know and i don't know if this is 100 percent accurate you know maybe it's a little bit of a myth but but they were saying that engineers were toying with doing an auto close option okay but it was going to add an extra 90 pounds to the car so you know i think the balance between creature comforts and, and convenience and the weight savings you know obviously for a black series the weight savings you Important. know one out yeah and of course there's no auto close you know so you, you know you got to get up there and reach and close these doors down but i thought it's pretty cool that i at least thought of that uh with these going doors um but they're not bad i mean they're super light they're carbon fiber they're light yeah. doors they got the shocks that help them I, I think they're pretty good i think for guys like you and i they're a little shorter <laughs> we're kind of reaching up to close them you probably yeah. see that when we get in the car I would say one more thing because I've driven the Black Series before. The nose is a little long. It overhangs yeah. the front tire. So you do have to come in at a 45 uh, degree angle into the driveways and be super careful. They do not come with the lift system. Right. So where you got some of the newer cars where you, you know, your Ferraris and stuff, you pull up, you push a button, the car goes up, makes it easier to go up the driveway. This one is a little more challenging. You need to be a little more experienced in it. But... You know, besides that, once you get this thing on the road, it's, it's wonderful. Beautiful car. And, and, you know, of course, when you come to the rear of this car and you start looking at, at the body lines on it, uh, they just did an excellent job. You know, standard SLS doesn't have that aggressive wing. It's really more smoothed out and, and rounded. And the Black Series has a different rear bumper piece here, has the carbon fiber um, wing, has the carbon fiber diffuser. And again, there's that amg black series you know that just you know just tells you tells you what it is you know you know what's going on when you see that yeah i love that black Gorgeous. series what, one thing that i just noticed gil mm. you know it's so funny is that you know how mercedes is always ahead of their game you know you look at the new la ferraris 488 458 i guess is the first car that was 2010 right. so i guess that was early too right but you know they all lowered the, the cameras down they got the rain light in the back right i mean that's already here you know they've done that a long time ago uh but a very usable car i think this car yeah. i think it was like 13 in the city 17 in the highway it's got a seven speed automatic uh pretty and, nice car and you know and speaking of that seven speed there is a lot of uh tuning that went into the black series for quicker shifts and you know when we get inside the car and we take this thing out for a drive you're going to see there's a an amg section to the display that gives you all the different features and all kinds of uh, uh, tuning and variations you can make as a driver uh, to set this car up, including uh, setting it up for specific tracks. It has track databases. I love it's it. really, really cool. And, and you know, so this thing was built with 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 a very specific purpose in mind. And, and man, look how pretty this thing is from the back. Just, yeah, I love it. I yeah. love it. I think let's switch, let's pop the hood, Sean, with the AMG. Yeah. See who built the motor. You know, let's see what, what we got on there.
First thing I notice is, look how far the motor is shoved back. And we talked about that weight distribution of the car. Right. Obviously they did a lot of that uh, to achieve it. Look at this dry carbon. Beautiful work, all carbon. Stunning. Uh, you know, carbon inlays. And that's a Black Series only option, right? I mean, so the regular SLS did not have the carbon fiber hood. That's part of where they're, they're shaving some pounds, obviously. Yeah, wonderful. Now, another thing I'm noticing, look at that intake. Look how much air filter for, it's not a turbo car. Yeah. You know, look how much air they're fitting this motor. It's beautiful. Uh, they do everything so, Almost simple and great, you know, and that's what makes them amazing. And you all, you would, you, you, you know more about this than I do. AMG, when they build the engine, it's hand built. Hand built. And is it one guy start to finish on the engine? I believe it is because I know they signed the top of the motor on every one. That's so I, I don't know if they get sub assembly, but I know the final assembly is one person that takes, you know, ownership of the quality and puts his name on it. So I'm sure they have some sub assembly during the production that they get, but you know, they're all signed. Uh, they're just wonderful, wonderful cars. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a beautiful automobile. And, and you know, sometimes you open up a car and you know, especially these modern cars, you don't see anything. Everything's covered up and closed yeah. out. You can't, you can't even, you can barely even see who made the motor. I kind of like that this is, it's kind of got an old school feel. You know, you no, can I love really it. I love it. it. It's shoved way back there. I don't want to change plugs on it, but uh, <laughs> it's very cool. It's got twin throttle bodies, uh, three in the air box. I mean, it's, it's a serious, it's a serious machine. For I sure. really, I really love it. For sure. All right, I think uh, we should go and uh, play on with the inside and maybe take it for a drive. The fun part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it knows like the popular tracks. Yeah. That's so cool. So I think that's pretty, pretty cool. So you, you load those up and it gives you your lap time on the tracks. And, yeah, very cool. Yeah, I'm running out of road, but uh, yeah, it feels great. I really like yeah. this car. It behaves really nice. You know, I'm driving it stiff right now, but it's 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 pretty cool. You know, and and, and look at the fit and finish. Oh yeah, and you know, you got the deviated stitching, Alcantara, carbon everywhere, just and, gorgeous. And, and one thing to say is, you know, this is not a brand new car. No. You know, look at the fit and finish, how it holds up, and they definitely build them to uh, become an. Uh, Classic, something that will last forever. It kind of feels like you're driving a really refined, big block muscle car. Yeah, I mean, 6.2 liter, you know, that's that's a pretty good size. What yeah. is that, like a 383 if you went to an American car? A that's little a stroker, car. but yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, it sounds great, it's breathing. We saw those big air intakes, I mean, and the two oh, throttle yeah. bodies. So when I'm opening it, I can hear that sucking air. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And I don't want to smoke the tires too bad on this. You say that, but we all know what's going to happen right now. Nah, I'm going to take it easy. guys here we go SLS black series what a car naturally aspirated going doors what more can you ask for I could drive it every day you know below besides the low clearance we talked about what a wonderful car AC mm. blows ice cold comfortable you have all the features for the suspension transmission you can set anything on this car ergonomically amazing sound great power judge to yourself you saw the video 
All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video and want to see others like it, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate the support as we're trying we to build We appreciate out. everything. Thanks, guys. Be safe. See you next video.